Hello, in this video we're going to write this as a single trigonometric function. We have the cosecant of theta minus cotangent of theta times cosine of theta. This problem shouldn't be too bad. I haven't done it yet, so let's try to work through it. So I am thinking we have three different trig functions here, and I think maybe the best thing we can do is to start by writing everything in terms of sine and cosine. So cosecant is one over sine. So let's go ahead and do that. And all of this, by the way, is equal to this. And then cotangent is cosine over sine. So this is cosine theta over sine theta. And then here we just have cosine theta. All right, this is pretty cool because we actually have a common denominator here. But however, in the next step, before we do any subtraction, let's first multiply these cosines. You can really think of this as cosine theta over 1. So you can just multiply here. Cosine times cosine will give you cosine squared. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is equal to 1 over the sine of theta. Really nice. Minus, and then cosine times cosine is cosine squared. Theta. And all of this is over sine theta. Now we have a common denominator, so now we can actually subtract. This is equal to, so 1 minus cosine squared, that's going to be in the numerator. And in the denominator, we just get the sine of theta, so this is sine of theta. 1 minus cosine squared is a familiar identity, it's sine squared. So this is equal to sine squared theta over, and then here we have sine of theta. So one of the signs cancels, and we're just left with the sine of theta. So that would be the final answer. So we were able to take our original um, expression here, cosecant theta minus cotangent theta cosine theta, and rewrite it as a single trig function sine theta. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.